Endure, pilot episode, The Miracle Man. Exterior, chapel, the middle of the night. Fade in. Following a hooded woman as she hastily ascends a steep hill coated with high, dry grass. A camo bag clings to her back. Off screen, multiple loud explosions, the thunder of war mere miles away. Each blast casts quick, violent flashes of hot, white light. She reaches her destination. An old, white Baptist chapel looms like a sentinel at the top. She slings the bag off her back, noticeably wheezing. Out of it, she digs a disc-shaped electronic inhaler out and jams it into her mouth, expelling steroid-infused oxygen into her lungs. Her breathing normalizes. She slips her hood off, revealing a tangled mane of long black hair. Sweat drips off the tip of her nose. She's thin, with large, dark eyes. This is Najia, Naji Khan, 31, Middle Eastern. She slowly faces a fiery horizon, peering at a faded city under siege. Dim skyscrapers shattered and ablaze. The skyline lit up hot orange, steel and concrete roasted by cackling war fire. Interior, chapel, a few moments later. Naji carefully opens the heavy door. She scans for any signs of life. Empty. She stealthily moves to the front altar. Intermittent bursts of light from outside slice the darkness apart. She arrives at the altar and guides her bag down, withdrawing a small halogen lantern. It casts an eerie, pale green glow on the decaying house of worship. She hurriedly unpacks her bag, setting up a communication station, a thick laptop, a mini satellite dish. She points it straight up, wiping her brow and eyes clear of stinging sweat. She makes connections hastily, but precisely. It's muscle memory. A symbol appears on the screen, a child's handprint, the color of a faded sun. Below, a lone word, endure. Suddenly, the computer comes to life, emitting a beam of light at her, scanning her face from forehead to chin. Her image digitizes on the screen like a mirror. It quickly populates with her vital signs, heart rate, blood pressure, etc., an audio waveform spikes as she speaks. Record voice authentication now. Najia Khan, witness 19. Voice key confirmed. Access granted. Welcome, Najee. Begin new submission. The satellite whirs and oscillates. A green light triggers. Ready. She types quickly as she whispers her message. This is Najee Khan. It's June 1st, 2085, and I'm uploading my current location a refugee community just outside of Charlotte. Another explosion off-screen, the loudest yet. She doesn't flinch. What remains of Charlotte? Another city on the brink of collapse. Conditions are breaking down faster than we ever imagined. Many of the people in this community have fled the war zone. Food and medical supplies are becoming scarce. Countless casualties. A few days ago, an outbreak of sea flu started spreading. Only one person here seems to know what to do. I believe this group is being held together by one person, the leader here, their doctor. She begins typing, uploading photos of a doctor, 30s, Asian American. Close on the photos, as the doctor treats a variety of patients in an archaic triage environment that's consumed a high school gymnasium. Working in an area of narrow, soiled beds filled with bloody, frail patients clinging to life, like something out of a World War I documentary. In the nine days I've been watching him, I've seen him save dozens of lives. The situation's dire, but without him, I think it'd be much worse. He's special. His name is Kenjiro Chen, and I nominate him for survival. In the last photo, Kenjiro's head is down, elbows buried in his knees. His scrubs, arms, and hands are caked in dried blood, seated on the steps of this very same chapel hours earlier, being watched by Naji. I don't know if this transmission will reach you, but if it does, you need to send a Nighthawk as soon as possible. Whoever took the city will find their way here. I don't know how much time these people have left, including the doctor. End transmission. She sits back, watching the system upload the submission. After it finishes, she lowers the screen closed. She looks up through a jagged SUV-sized hole in the roof into a hazy night sky. I hope you can hear me. Flashback to Interior Kansas Hospital slash Nick U, the middle of the night. Title up, 33 years earlier. 
Close on a hovering silver softball-sized drone, a red light illuminates. Cut to the live recording. We're in a dim clinical space, focused on Ella Jude, 28, African-American, as she whispers into the camera. 